Hey, Latierans, I've missed you so much, and I've missed our morning circles and seeing everyone every day. I know I've talked to a lot of the other teachers, and it just feels so strange right now. I'm sure you're feeling it too at home. Um, but I also hope you're enjoying this different kind of time together and that you're entertaining yourself, being creative, reading, uh, maybe helping cook and clean. But uh, just know that I've been thinking about you and um, I really just will continue to, to send my thoughts and love out to everybody and um, just remember we're all in this together. That's kind of helped me feel better. You know, everyone's going through this and so we're all connected in a way. And that also has to do with this book that I was going to read for us. Um, it's pretty special. It's from someone in my family that has had this in their life forever. Uh, the Way to Start a Day by Bird Baylor, illustrated by Peter Parnall. And there's something in this book that I want to make sure we all know before we start. Um, it mentions the direction, so it talks about facing east and seeing the sunrise. So I want everyone to pause the video and try to figure out where would you look if you wanted to look east um, out of your house and try to think, oh, in the morning, where does the sun come up? So that would be the east, and then the opposite would be the west. So, um, and then when you, if you want to draw your own compass, you can make it really beautiful and a lot of decorations. Um, and remember, it's never eat soggy waffles. North, east, south, west. So never eat soggy waffles is a way that uh, we remembered it in fifth grade. And so, um, if you can take a moment, figure out where east is, and then you can know where all the other directions are. So, the way to start a day. The way, here, let's figure out how to do this best, because I can. Uh, the way to start a day is this. Go outside and face the east and greet the sun with some kind of blessing or chant or song that you made yourself and keep for early morning. The way to make the song is this. Don't try, to, don't try to think what words to use until you're standing there alone. When you feel the sun, you'll feel the song too. Just sing it. But don't think you're the only one who ever worked that magic. Your caveman brothers knew what to do. Your cavewoman sisters knew too. They sang to help the sun come up and lifted their hands to its power. A morning needs to be sung to. A new day needs to be honored. People have always known that. Didn't they chant at dawn in the sun temples of Peru? And leap and sway to Aztec flutes in Mexico? And drum sunrise songs in the Congo? And ring a thousand small gold bells in China? Didn't the pharaohs of Egypt say, the only sound at dawn should be the sound of songs that please the morning sun. They knew what songs to sing. People always seemed to know. And everywhere they knew what gifts the sun wanted. In some places they gave gold. In some places they gave flowers. In some places sacred smoke blown to the four directions. Some places feathers and good thoughts. Some places fire. But everywhere they knew to give something. And everywhere, they knew to turn their faces eastward as the sun came up. Some people still know. When the first pale streak of light cuts through the darkness, wherever they are, those people make offerings and send strong, mysterious songs to the sun. They know exactly how to start the day. Their blessings float on the wind over Pueblo cornfields in New Mexico, and you'll hear you'll and you hear their morning songs in villages in Africa, and they salute the sunrise ceremonially in the high cold mountains of Peru. Today, long before dawn, already waiting, they were already waiting in Japan with prayers, and they were gathering at little shrines in India with marigolds in their hands. They were bathing in the sacred Ganges River as the sun came up. And high on a mesa edge in Arizona, they were holding a baby toward the sun. 
They were speaking the child's new name so the son would hear and know that child. It had to be sunrise, and it had to be the first sudden moment. That's when all the power of life is in the sky. I really like Lion King. Some people say there's a new sun every day, that it begins its life at dawn and lives for one day only. They say you have to welcome it. You have to make the sun happy. You have to make a good day for it. You have to make a good world for it to live its one day life in. And the way to start, they say, is just by looking east at dawn. When, the east, uh, when they look east tomorrow, you can too. Your song will be an offering. And you'll be one more person in one more place at one more time in the world saying hello to the sun, letting it know you are there. If the sky turns a color sky never was before, just watch it. That's part of the magic. That's the way to start a day. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so tomorrow morning, um, face east and be there by yourself and take a moment to greet the sun and be grateful for this day and um, just send a little light through your family as much as you can. I'll continue to think about you guys. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me. We have different teacher videos on this YouTube channel, so keep checking it out. I miss you guys. Bye.